Hi, it's Michelle Myers, and I am here with tip number eight for Beach Body Basics, and it is to be intentional with your challenge groups. And this is where you have got to recognize that your customers who have gotten in one of your challenge groups, they have made an investment in you. And so in turn, we have to make an intentional investment in them. There are great resources for us to help us support our challenge groups in the back office. If you are a member of my team, make sure that you listen to a call on how to work smarter, not harder, to where you can really know how to utilize all of the tools that are available to you in your back office, particularly regarding challenge groups. But your challenge group participants, these are like your most valuable customers. And so here's the thing. There, one of two things is more than likely going to happen if you are intentional with your challenge groups. Number one, they're either going to have such fantastic results from using our program and from your coaching and your encouragement that they are going to in turn decide that they want to be a coach themselves because they've had such a change in them. They think of all of these people that they know that could benefit from this. So they decide, hey, listen, I, I want to join your team. I want to do what you do. I want to start another challenge challenge group with some of my family and my friends and help them get the kind of results that you helped me get. Or they are going to become your best word of mouth advertising because of the results that they get. They're both a win-win situation. And so how are you intentional with your challenge groups? They should get your best time. They should get your first time. You should not spend so much time recruiting new people that you're abandoning the people that have already invested in you. And so I always make sure people know that if they really want results and they want my best time and they want that undivided attention from me, the best way to do that is by joining one of my challenge groups. Because the analogy that I always give is I used to be a personal trainer at the gym. I also taught classes. I used to work at the front desk like I grew up at this place. And so there were times when I would have to talk to other members and explain to them when I was training a client that I couldn't answer one of their questions or carry on a conversation with them. My client at that moment had paid for that time with me and it was their time. And so think about the fact that your challenge group participants, they've made this investment in you and they deserve your time and your attention first. And so, because I can assure you that there are always going to be those people that are looking for handouts. They're always going to be looking for freebies. And these people can totally get your mind. It's why I post fitness tips on Facebook. It's why I post, you know, some workout stuff on YouTube. It's why I have a blog so that I constantly have resources that I can point people to or that there's a way that they can access my mind, but not necessarily access my time. If a challenge group participant has a really serious struggle, I'm I'm going to make sure that I'm talking to them about that and I'm investing in them. I may not be able to get to somebody else that says, hey, Michelle, can you make a customized meal plan for me? Um, I'm just, I just don't have any money to spend on whatever. I'm probably not going to be able to do that. Um, number one, I'm not certified to do that. But number two, that's not me being the best coach that I can be for the customers that have already made an investment in me. So be intentional with your challenge groups post those motivational tips, encourage them, like every single thing that they do, answer their questions, be real, be genuine with them, give them your best time because it will come back to you tenfold because the more invested you are in them, the better results they get. The better results they get, the better referrals they're going to give you or the more likely they are to decide that they want to do the, this business themselves. So invest in your challengers, make sure that they understand that they get your best time in this business. So tip number eight, be very intentional with your challenge groups.